It's a hot one here today in Brasilia as the temperature is pushing 30 degrees Celsius and that's even before the humidity is factored in as Canada's women's national team gets set for their final game of group stage play against the hosts Brazil. The heat likely won't be as much of a factor in the game as a late kickoff should mean better temperatures than the team's final training session on Tuesday. As was the case in Canada's previous game, it will be the second match of a doubleheader. So for a team that's scientific in the way they schedule their match days, head coach John Herdman says being in the second game means they have to be a bit more creative in their warm-ups and preparations since they likely won't have as much time as they would like on the field prior to the game. Yeah, we're doing what we can to get these girls ready, but it's the same for both teams. You know, Brazil, I'm sure, will be yawning at uh, 11 o'clock at night. Look, the, the, the adrenaline around this game, these girls will be up for it, and, you know, I hope people tune in to watch because I think it'll be a classic. If there is one thing you can count on when Canada plays Brazil is that it's going to be a very tight game. In their last three meetings, each team has a 2-1 win, and Canada also has a win on penalties at the 2011 Pan Am Games. Midfielder Diana Matheson says they always expect a battle against Brazil. They're always a really tough uh, competing team. I mean, they fight tooth and nail for everything. They're always really good technically. They grow up playing the game, and they're just natural soccer players. I think it always just ends up being a fight, and uh, whoever's willing to fight for it that little bit more. We know it's going to be tough to play them here at home, but it's a game we need to win. Canada's pride was wounded a little bit when Chile pulled off a shock 1-0 win on Sunday, but there really is no better time to test the team's ability to bounce back and perform than against one of the premier teams in the world. Needless to say, they're very much looking forward to it. What I was really proud of after that game was just how they managed it. They just got back on task, all the processes were in place and you know they're really looking forward to Brazil. Uh, there's something about a sort of wounded animal here and the most dangerous time is when, when someone's been a bit wounded. So uh, there's a massive rivalry here. For some reason, this, uh, these games turn into a bit of a fight. You know, I don't know where it's come from or whether it's something that's happened before my time, but uh, they're almost like bloodbaths. And for whatever reason, both teams get right up for it. And I think that's the exciting thing about it. I just hope I've got you know, some players left for the next game. And it potentially could be against Brazil if we get the result we need. Um, it's going to be a late kickoff here on Wednesday as Canada and Brazil are scheduled to get underway at 9.50 p.m. local time. That's 6.50 p.m. for those of you in the Eastern Time Zone and 3.50 for those of you on the West Coast. That's it for now. I'm Gavin Day. This is Canada Soccer TV, and I'll talk to you soon.